Hey everyone, Anthony Smith here. I wanted to talk to you about something today that I'm going through currently, and a lot of people are as well, and it's actually probably the most paramount part of your entire journey. It's going to be finding your passion and how to really do that. I'm going to talk about a little bit on my side what I'm doing currently to attempt that, to be able to uh, find what I am excellent at, and at the same time, I'll just talk to you about not worrying that you haven't found it yet. Because I think a lot of people give up too fast on the fact that they don't know what their passion is and then go back to the job they don't like or they go back to doing something that just doesn't fulfill them like it should. Uh, I will say this, I have done part of my career so far in more of a I just want to make money light. And, you know, money's nice, but at the end of the day, it's not going to get you up every time. you got to find things that you like to do that will also help you make money. For example, I chose a few things. One, uh, I went to bartending school to become a bartender in my spare time. You know, something I just, I wanted to talk to more people and I want to get behind a bar. I enjoy whiskeys a lot. I enjoy different types of wine, but not just drinking. I actually enjoy the story behind who created that whiskey, how long it sat, you know, what it took to go through that process, you know, what's uh, what individuals were making that wine, whose hands were put on it, all that kind of stuff to me is a huge part of the behind the scenes that's just simply amazing. It's basically art to me, and that's why I decided I want to go into bartending to get a little more experience in that space. The next thing I started to do was I'm focusing a lot of my jobs, my commission jobs, on helping other people because I love to coach, and I, I have some areas where I'm good at I'm good in uh, marketing. I'm good in helping someone through a life insurance sale. I'm good in the financial space. And because of that, my main job during the day is going to be what's called the agency development manager. So I'm going to help agents, uh, help business owners get benefits to their employees. But it's all mine is going to be based on their sales or their commissions. All my bonuses, everything. I can make individual sales if I want, but that's not the true part of this process. Really what I'm going to be doing is making sure I, I recruit people that are actually want to make things happen for themselves, that actually like the industry, and then want to truly help business owners give benefits to their employees. Because the same thing in sales, if you're just going to try to make some money, in my opinion, it's never really worked. There are some guys that can, uh, guys and gals that can, for better or for worse, BS. Um, those, good for them. Um, I don't wish I had that. I used to. I used to wish I could just sell anything. And the, the more, the deeper I go down into helping people build my own brand, do all these different things, truly bring value, I'm really happy that I don't have that skill because true value comes in uh, subjects you care about. For instance, me doing this podcast. I do this podcast daily because I care about you guys and if I can even just connect with one person and help them get a little bit down their career path, to me that's worth it. To me that makes all the difference. So that's why I'll continue to do this podcast for years to come, long past what most people do because most people take 10 days to 3 weeks and then give up. That's why you see a lot of um, gym memberships after Gen 1. It'll go down severely in February and March. It almost goes back to the regular people in the gym. You might pick up a few extra people that are dedicated, but it, it's still it's not going to be quite the same. And some of the tools I use, one is I have a nutritionist for the gym. You, if you can't do it yourself, I can't keep myself accountable. I need someone to you know help me get up on every single um I'd say every single Monday I go to her and she makes me work out and stick with a certain food diet. And to me, it, it, it makes all the difference. Before, I just wouldn't be able to stick to anything. Uh, two, another thing I do when I wanted to find my passion is I just started watching YouTube videos on everything. Everything from how it's made to uh, listening to NPR. Uh, it's a podcast called uh, Planet Money, and they do it a lot of different subjects. So if you want some ideas on where to go, what books to read, what things to watch, reach out. I'd love to help in that process because that's really all it is. Just find out things that you're interested in and see if there's a way you can uh, potentially make a living off that. And if there's not, find a way to make it your hobby anyways because it'll make you enjoy life more. This is Anthony. It's all the things. Uh, I'd love to help anyone. Talk to you all soon.